I don't think the advocates of Obamacare have thought through this proposal at all. Uh, I don't think they've thought about the unintended consequences. Um, I think they're really living in a fantasy land where they think they can bring 30 million people into the system who are not in, offer them coverage, and have costs go down rather than up. I mean, this is a basic abrogation of the entire concept of supply and demand. Um, this is a lot of wishful thinking at best. I think there are a lot of people who really see this as a big government power grab, which really is what it's all about, which is we can't have all these people making their own independent indiv individual decisions. Uh, we, the anointed, have got to make these decisions on their behalf, so let's get our get our big arms around them. Uh, there are probably some people who are not quite as cynical as that, who I don't think have thought this through very carefully. But you have a lot of people involved and putting this to, this thing together, who are not doctors, don't have any medical background. A lot of them aren't even economists. They're lawyers and academics and, and theoreticians and don't have any real-world understanding of how these things work. Um, there have been people involved even now who are putting this together in these various, various boards and panels who don't have any medical background. They don't know anything about medicine. They can't take blood pressure. So we have a lot of people who are inv involved in a very uh, difficult, very often technical kind of field who don't have the expertise, I think, to make intelligent decisions about it.